you are my genius brother. Yes, I am. Because I watch MakeMeGenius.com every day. Hey Jimmy, what are you doing dressed like this? Ha ha, today I am a magician and I will show you some magic tricks. Look at this water, I am going to perform my magic. Abracadabra, abracadabra. Now this is magical water. It will vanish anything that I mix in it. See what happens when I add salt to it. The salt vanished. Now vanish this. <laughs> Can I tell you something? The salt has not vanished. It only got dissolved in water. When salt is mixed in water, its particles separate and go in between the particles of water. See? The same happens when I make sugar in water. It dissolves. You are right. When the sugar has dissolved into the water, it forms a sugar solution. See, we take water. It is a solvent. So the medium in which another thing is mixed is called a solvent. Yes, you are right. Look at this green powder. It is the solute. The solute is added to the solvent. Then we mix it. Yes, you made a solution. In our sugar solution, sugar is the solute and water is the solvent. So, a solution is a mixture of solvent and solute. Absolutely right, Jimmy. You are a genius boy. Now let's try making another solution. This time I will try sand in water. Okay, let's try again. Mm, why is this not making a solution? Because not all solutes will mix with the solvent. When I make sand castles on the beach, the wave comes and the sand from my castle mixes with it. Yes, Jimmy. But that does not mean sand dissolves in water. The waves just wash it away. Solutes can be different. Some are water loving. They will mix in water very fast. But there are others who do not like water. They are water fearing. If the solute is water loving and it dissolves, then it is soluble. Like salt and sugar. But if the solute is water fearing and does not dissolve, then it is insoluble. Like we just saw sand. Last time when we were playing on the beach, I forgot to finish my lemonade. Do you remember what happened? What? Someone drank it? Oh ho! No one drank it. The water evaporated and only sugar was left in the glass. I know what this means. We can separate the solute and the solvent from the solution. Absolutely right. I am going to make this sugar solution sweeter. See? I am mixing it and the sugar dissolves. If I mix some more, it dissolves again. Mixing helps in making a solution. 
let's think of some more ways that may help in dissolving the solute. I told the first one, mixing. When I want to have more lemonade, I need to add more water as well as sugar and lemon juice. So I think the next factor is quantity of solvent. Mom heats my milk before mixing sugar in it. I think sugar dissolves very fast like that. So the next is heating. Do you remember Aunt Polly who makes those yummy jams and jellies? She keeps a solution for hours and hours and keeps adding more sugar till the jam is ready. I am sure time also helps. Let's find out more things which are water loving and water fearing. Sure, come, let's try. I will pick the soluble and I will find the insolubles. Sugar is soluble, sand is insoluble, salt, soluble, white pepper is insoluble, milk powder, soluble. Nuts and screws, insoluble. Coffee powder, soluble. Oil, insoluble. It will float in water. Soil, soluble. <laughs> Paper, insoluble. That was so much fun. <laughs>